In this video, we're going to have a look at roof framing design. Now, when we're talking about roof framing, probably the hardest types of roofs to frame would be a hipped roof. Now, we see this is the most common, and most of our project home market does this all the time. Why? Because it makes construction relatively simple, but in terms of the design of these roof frames, as we see here, this can be hard to achieve. Now, how do we do this in Archicad? Archicad makes it very simple. We have some walls here. I've just made a reasonably complicated shape uh, in order just to explain how this process can work. Now, using our roof tool, and more importantly, our multi-planed roof tool in Archicad, I've set this at 15 degrees, but it really doesn't matter what it's set at. So let's increase this to 25 just for the purposes of this. Now all I need to do is a magic wand to be able to create this. Now, as we've talked about before, with the magic wand, depending on where you click, you'll get a different result. The problem that I have with this, based on the fact of how I've drawn it, is that when I try to click in the middle, it's actually defining the internal face of the wall, not the external first, but that's fine, let's do this and then we can adjust it. So magic wand, which is holding spacebar. We've got a fill, a cover fill over the top of the roof, which is making going to make it very hard to see the walls below, so I'll turn that off momentarily. And we see that the reference plane for the roof, which is this blue line, is currently related to the internal face of the wall. Now if we want to shift this, I can click on that blue face, we want to go offset all edges, and I could either offset this so it's on the outside face of the brickwork. Now in this case, this is a, a dinsel uh, internal wall with a brick external wall. Of course, this could be a timber frame wall as well. If we were dealing with a timber frame wall, then we'd probably use this face. Now this will work with the dinsel as well. Uh, we will use the external face of the internal skin to define our offset. Why? Because this reference line also works as our pitching plane. Now, I've chosen, in terms of the settings, if I go into the multi-plane settings, to have the offset or the overhang to be 600 millimeters. Now, that means that's 600 from this reference plane. If I want that to be from the external face, I either need to move this to the external face or I need to increase the offset which I can do like this. So if you see that's 600 to here, that's 435 to there. I can increase a number there to make that more if that's what I wanted to do. I can change that graphically or I can change that in the setting, they both work. Once we've created the roof shape and we see that this is automatically created a hip roof. I'm not going to adjust this in this video. Uh, I might edit this to show you how we can create some gable ends in another, but for now we're just having a look at how this is automatically created. I'm also not going to go into uh, the, the geometry of how a hip roof is created and why it turns into this particular shape, but what are we looking at? This is the sort of the shape of the roof we're talking about, and the reason why it's cost effective uh, in the housing market as we see it most commonly is that it allows the walls to all be a consistent height, the eave to be a consistent height, the gutters to be a consistent height, and due to the way that the framing is created, it means that the framing can be very lightweight, meaning it's an inexpensive building material. Uh, also, if we're using pine, then it's a renewable building material and can grow very fast. So it, it has some practicalities to it. Also, if it's a flat ceiling and a, a raked or a pitched roof, it allows for a ceiling space, which we can then ventilate. So it has some advantages to it. Now, how do we frame it? This we see is a solid structure. What we're trying to do is to create these frames that we see over here. So we select the roof, we go design, roof extras, <clears throat> roof maker, and these are all the different elements of the roof that we're trying to create, but we're going to use this bottom one here, which is roof wizard, and just like the magic wand, the roof wizard, a bit of magic going on, this will create it all for us. Now we have all those options, so we see that it's broken up into these areas, rafters, beams, purlins, trimmers, ridges, I don't again want to spend too much time doing this, but we can see that we can edit them all, and it's best to try to get these as 
correct as possible. Now, we don't want to do this later because otherwise we're going to have to be editing them maybe one by one or maybe it's slightly harder to find them, but we always can. Press OK. It's going to take a little bit of time to create. And there we have it. So that's our reframe. Let's select all of this in one go. See this in 3D. Now what this is not doing necessarily is creating trusses. It's not creating the webs of a truss. And in a lot of the cases, it's not actually creating a bottom cord or a ceiling joist, but it is creating the, the roof framing per se, the rafters, purlins, ridge beams. Uh, I've turned on the collar tie to be a a ceiling joist and we can see what's really happening here is that the ceiling joist is only running when it's acting as the bottom cord or collar tie of a full triangle. Uh, so once we start seeing these reduced areas then it's no longer running that ceiling joist through which would mean that we'd need to do that manually or in, or in another method. We also have a way of in ArchiCAD creating trusses and again, I'm not going to show that in this video, just to keep it short. In another video, I'll describe how to draw a truss, which is a little bit more of a manual process, uh, but it produces maybe something that's a little bit more exact. So what's the advantage of this? Trying to work out this manually takes a lot of time. Uh, we're using the roof tool, multiplane roof tool, and then using the roof wizard allows us to create something that looks pretty good. It's not 100% accurate in some situations, uh, but it's a, it's a great start, and it is a very simple way of creating roof framing for our model.